second stop of the day, I have arrived at Bedford Street Antiques. All right, a lot going on in this booth. I have a feeling it's all gonna be pretty close to retail. Um, I have one of these actually. It's got a little bit of damage. I've been meaning to list it forever. This is a pretty cool tin litho Roy Rogers lantern. I've never seen that before. But what I see, I'm making sure I'm not getting tunnel vision here, are a lot of these snowflake girls. Now, this is just a single candle holder. 15, it's not a bad price at all. I could still make money on that. Um, is this for the pair? 24. And this one's 18. Yeah, I could make a couple dollars off each. It's not as well priced for resale as I'd like. Um, I can't argue with their prices for retail though. That's for sure, this is cute. That's Taiwan though. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep looking. I have a good feeling. Oh, I love the these vintage bulbs. Those are really pretty. Wait, what are these guys over here? 18, that's a really good price too. But again, a little bit more than I'd like to spend I'm trying to be super thrifty. This booth always has such fun stuff. I looked at the Pooh Bear, I love this. Um, these guys, cute, but not for 25 for me. This is kind of different. Like the texture and the glaze on that. Well, this squirrel bank definitely pops out to me. Unfortunately, $20 is a little too much for resale. <sighs> I mean, I might be able to make like literally $2 off that or something, but it's not worth fronting $20 to me. The recipe box, I've had this one before. Gosh, everything is just so fun in this booth. Hmm, what's this little tin with the rainbow? That's pretty adorable. Oh, I'm so in love with this little Santa pin. 35, that's definitely retail on that. It is adorable though. I've never seen one quite like that, honestly. Is this a salt and pepper shaker set? That's kind of fun. It's got a little paint loss though. Oh my gosh, what is this little children's is it inside out? No, it's just strange. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. How much is this, $10? I'm so tempted. <laughs> ah, little major red boots with red sequins. Amazing. Embroidered cat towel. What does this say? Home sweet home soon. That's cute. $8. Oh, wait, what's this one? <laughs> Honeymoon, adorable. I used to pick these up all the time. I still would. Um, just I'm kind of over them, honestly, at the moment. June, cute, but not quite right. Oh my gosh, look at this little outfit. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, whoa, there's like a whole thing happening here. Lots of Christmas. Love the little sock monkey ornament. I have one of those. My dad gave it to me. Oh, look at this muff. How spectacular. That is so sweet. More Santas. 12, 12. This is fun, but I've had ones like it in the past and they haven't done that well. Lots of Christmas. A lot of it is on the newer side though. I hate that this lamp is still here. I am like really, really obsessed with it. I cannot justify spending $300 on uh, a lamp for myself, especially since I'm moving and the most pain in the butt thing I have to move is all my lamps. Speaking of which, this Hollywood Regency style chandelier is to die for. Man, I'm like, oh, don't touch it. Don't even get Attached case. Gosh, there's so much cute stuff in this case. Ceramic trees. Oh, that's not a trees, it's a tree. Just kidding. I'm like weirdly into this garland. It's this strange texture. 
swordfish. Kind of neat. Um, I'm kind of tapped out of the uh, generic fish salt and pepper shakers though at the moment. Not really seeing any other set that strikes me. So I haven't had the most luck with stockings. I do kind of like this one, even though the face isn't face isn't very distinct. Also can't help but notice this, $12, very fair price. If it didn't have as much damage to the paint, I would definitely pick that up. Those uh, sell pretty well. I could double my money if it was in a little bit better condition at that price. Wait, what? Oil cloth stuff Santa, $12? It's in pretty good condition too. I have never seen one of these. I am like such a big fan of the oil cloth stuffed and I mean, this Santa is just to die for. I am definitely picking this up. Now, I did look at those, uh, those fuzzy little pixies last time. They were a little too close for me to be comfortable with, in price that is. Another Santa doll here. How much are you? 22 that's a fair retail price i like this little one with the present oh don't see a price tag on that oh well i'm going upstairs because uh there's some action down there but it just doesn't have a price i guess it's just for display i also couldn't help but notice this little mohair dachshund it says stife not sure if I trust that it is. That is pretty adorable. It's only 15 too, that's a really fair price. I'm gonna go upstairs, which is where I get into the most trouble usually, and then finish up on the bottom level. What's this guy? Oh my gosh, this is so sketch. Oh, it's just a bear. He's got no face, sad bear. Lovable bear though. Ah, look at this guy. How fun, $2. Well, I'm gonna grab this. I love a little fuzzy ceramic. And have I looked at this planter before? I think I have. Yeah, it's got the music box in it. It's kind of heavy. Let's see. He's pretty phenomenal, 19, fair retail price. This is kind of pretty too. 19, I don't think I wanna spend that much on that. A jewelry casket, like I said earlier. I've had a hard time with those recently. Um, cute, but not quite. I'm kind of scared of this thing. It's going to jump out at me again. Um, yeah, I don't want to touch anything in there. I'm not a big fan of those battery-operated toys, even though the expression on that dog is pretty phenomenal. And then we're Mother of Pearl box here. It's kind of neat. It's not my favorite design though. A little cat thermometer, let me. It's got some damage. Well, look what we have here. Hmm, oh, it's got a big chunk missing out of it. I was gonna say it's only six bucks, kind of a shipping nightmare, but uh, I would have done it if it wasn't for that chunk missing. I think these are new, if I'm not mistaken. They look new. Yeah, I'm gonna guess they're new. We love mushrooms though. I see a lot of new stuff that wasn't here before. Nothing that's really exciting though, but it makes me look forward to uh, what's in the cabinets to come from this vendor. I love all the Christmas houses. Those are so sweet. Fire King bowls. Been a while since I picked those up. Five dollars each is a good deal, but I don't think they'll sell quick enough uh, for me to justify buying them with my move coming up. One of my favorite things to do here is open the cabinets and I can already see some stuff that I'm interested in. Of course, first is gonna be this angel. Let's see, she's got some stains on the back of her feet. So for $19, I am gonna put her back. It's probably about what I charge for that. And these aren't as spectacular. What about this one? This one's probably 19 too. 19, yeah. That's a shame. Mm. What's going on in this one? 
frosty. You know I'm looking for the bugs. I'm not seeing it though. Uh, kind of generic. Close that up and keep going. All right, let's see what we got here. This is kind of fun, a little Santa Claus pick holder. I've had a few like that in the past. They don't sell for that much. Oh, look at this little planter. She's cute, 10 bucks. That's a fair price. This one's just a figurine. I love the cookie jar. It's missing its lid, unfortunately. What about this Santa music box? It's got a big crack on it. All right, well, here's the holiday booth. I kind of already know a lot of this is gonna be just below, or full retail, I should say, but it's always fun to look. I've definitely found things here in the past. I did catch a glimpse of this uh, Holt Howard ornament though. How much is it? $3. That's super fair. I don't like the fact that it's just a single ornament. Um, I like to find them in packaging, but again, who doesn't? Or at least as a set, that's so cute. And, oh dang, it's a candle. I, no, it's not a candle, it's just plastic. Well, for five dollars yeah i think i'm gonna go I, I don't know why i just did that i was my eyes are tired i was making sure i wasn't uh playing tricks on myself for five bucks i'm gonna go ahead and pick her up she's a nice size i usually just see the plastic ones in the miniature um, of course the ceramic version does sell for more these are kind of beat and then I've had these before, 35 for the set for retail is fair, but I can't do anything with that for resale. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Is this Kamar? I'm pretty sure this is Kamar. It's $38, so whereas I could, yeah, I think that's probably about what I'd get for that after fees. So spectacular though. I might give that a quick Google just in case, just to make sure I'm not a, making things up so it is in fact exactly what i thought it was it is kamar um they'll usually sell for about 65 dollars <sighs> i'm tempted to do it but again 38 is pretty high to spend um when you take in fees and such it's a little too much for me to uh get excited about unfortunately well i don't remember this booth being like this it's got a really fun look to it. These are kind of neat. Five bucks. Kind of like those. I don't think they'd sell that quick though. The recipe box, that's nice. But again, a lot of stuff that I've kind of had before that hasn't sold that quick. I also spotted these cute little uh, glittery soldier ornaments. It's only $5 for the pair. They're pretty spectacular. I don't think uh, they sell for that much, but they're glittery, so I kind of can't resist, and it's tis the season. I'm back at the booth that I got uh, really lucky at last time and scored all that Holt Howard stuff. I'm not really seeing too much that's been replaced. That excites me. These are cute. Those are uh, Hold Howard too, I believe. I could be wrong. Okay, lots of unusual things happening here. I love the chalkware bunny, um, the candy container too. The snowman is what I really had my eyes on, but $30 is definitely retail. What is this? A pot of gold. Interesting. Very interesting. I was getting ready to check out and I saw this freaking bizarre baby mannequin. All right, well, I ended up spending $24 in there. I will say though, my favorite thing I found was this Chewy bar in my bag. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm kind of on a time crunch at this moment, but while I'm up here, I might as well do a breeze through Northgate. <laughs>